Guys, it's the kid, it's the kid, we're here rolling in here for some footballing news. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm all building up to the classical. Yes, guys, I know my preview is going to be coming soon. Don't worry, that preview, that pre match is going to be on, on its way. Um, I want to start off with um, Pastore. So, well, actually, I'm going to do this as a dumb. So, basically, PSG, but specifically Pastore and Lucas Moura. Now, people who've been watching PSG, you will know that there's definitely been a case of where these dudes have been on the fringes and they've not really been given regular starting spots. Newsflash, these two players are talented enough to start in almost any single club in Europe or in the world for that matter because these are two outstanding players. Pastore from me, he's a, he's a starter and Argentina need him in that team. Lucas Moura, is a dude that has just not had a fair run in because every time I see this guy play, he has amazing skill, amazing balance, is very swift on, on his feet, very good up ability with his right or his left left foot, and it is an attacking weapon and option that I would want on my team. Because I just love the way that he the fearlessness in the way that he he, he plays. So with, with Pastore. His agent came out and said that he has played his last game for PSG, so which is alluding to the fact that he may be moving in January. And again, Inter Milan are a team who have been mon monitoring him. And I think Abdul he made the points of this on Twitter. And I think we've been making the the, the points that it's 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 the thing is that as good as Inter Milan are, and the amazing job Spalletti has done, they are a heavy pastore away from actually being realistic title challengers. Right now, they are title pretenders. But for title challengers, realistic title challengers, they need a heavy pastore. They need a creator. They need somebody to give the ball to a card because as of right now, they don't have a, they don't have an ideas, man. They've got the midfield. They've got the physicality. They've got the stamina. They've got the organization. They've got the hard work. But you need the sex. You need the silk. And that is what pastore can bring it. And with Lucas Moura, we're here now. Real Betis are launching an offer. I do mean offense to Real Betis. You don't have the right to even bid for someone of Lucas Mora's quality. I'm sorry. That's just me, me being Lucas Mora is a guy who he deserves a Juventus. He deserves a Bayern Munich because he's just that dude. And this would be very insulting to, the, to his talents. But again, if the reality is that Real Betis can offer you first in football, I take that off 100%. If I'm Lucas Mora, and I say, wait a minute, can you offer me first in football? I'll say, mate, sorry guys, screw you. This is a World Cup year. I have six months to prove to, probably actually really five, because the um, squad gets um, picked like in, in May or something. About five months to prove that I need to be in that Brazil squad, so Tite can actually try and put me in there. So for Lucas Mora, it is all about let me try. Because as of right now, Mora, you're not in the World Cup squad. You're not, you, you just can't, because first of all, Brazil have a lot of talent. And you're just not playing. And if you're not playing, you can't be picked. Because I think you're money. But it seems to me, if I'm Tita, I'm like, so I pick you over somebody who I, I'm seeing playing regularly and regularly well? Nah, it, it, it can happen. City. So Man City, they're looking to um, get Bonucci. They've been in for Bonucci before. Um, I, th I think it was about a year or two ago that they wanted to Bonucci. Was it when... Guardiola came in initially. Things have changed. So Bonucci, he's now at AC Milan and his stock has decreased. He's no longer as respected as he once was for Juventus. Um, maybe that Champions League final really took a lot out, out of him. City should still get him, but I think it depends on the cash. I think Bonucci, because he's a ball playing the defender, he's amazing with, with, with his feet and he's still a pretty good defender. I definitely think that this would be somebody who is in the Pep Guardiola mold. And would fit perfectly in the defense. He is not vital, but again, if you're relying on Mangala, because only Mangala, he's a he's a yellow red cut away. I mean, he's he desperately, he desperately every every single game, Mangala goes up to the pitch and says, "My God, how do I get a yellow card?" And if he doesn't get books after a game, I'm told that Mangala cries. So that's why you need someone like Bonucci, because you know I don't think you 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 need you need that on your team. But again, Bonucci. Is he really an elite defender based on his exploits with AC Milan where he's actually captain? Um, Sidov, I mean, Man Sidov, he is poised to take over 
Atletico Paranense, a Brazilian club. Um, I always thought that Seedorf got a bad rap at AC Milan and he should have been given a lot more, more time. They don't call him the, the, the professor for nothing. He is, a, he is a G. He is intelligent. He's smart. He's, he is just... He's got an amazing footballing brain. And you can just see even the way that he, he talks and the way that he played his game. This guy has a supersonic understanding for the beautiful game. Which is why, you know, I, I'm just hoping that this is the beginning of maybe seed of in five, six, seven years time. He's the manager of AC Milan. He's, he, he's maybe a manager of Real Madrid or a manager of Inter or something like that because that's what he deserves. Because I do feel like Seedorf has the ability and the footballing now to be one of the top managers out there. Um, it's what the Dutch do. The, the Dutch just know their football ball. Paulinho. So, an interesting article for, for Paulinho because we were just talking about how um, people thought that his career was almost over and it was finished and... Um, how is now playing for Barcelona on the cusp of the classical? But the interesting thing about this is um, the fact. No, no, I mean the his story, racial abuse in Lithuania, and um, being unpaid, wanting to quit, and having to be um, told um, not to quit, basically by his wife. That's just all pretty great, but I just think that it's amazing because I when when Polini was bought by Pastor, I said, Look, I think this is a, a pretty good deal, guys. This is a pretty good deal, but people insult me. So I just think it's amazing the power of not giving up and always, always staying on track and believing that eventually it's gonna come up good. So I just think it's an amazing that Paulinho he will he's gonna be at the World Cup for, for Brazil and he's one of I think he's as I said, I think they said he's the highest scoring midfielder in La Liga for Barcelona. Guys, if that's not winning, I don't know what is. Mbappe, story been put out there that Mbappe is the second top scorer under the age of 21. Now, let me read this list. So, this was a tweet by Jake Entwist. Top scoring players under the age of 21 in Europe's top 10 leagues by calendar year since 1995, sorted by most goals. So, 2007, Lionel Messi, 20, 25. Um, Sergio Aguero with 27. Raul with 28. Michael Owen with 29, Kylian Mbappé with 32. Guess who got 38? Let's get, guess, who got, guess who got 38? Ro. Now. Do. Because I told you the reason why it's the phenom. It's, you, listen to me. And please. I never ever disrespect. Ronaldo, that's why he's a horseman. <laughs> um, guys, Mbappe is real. I'll double down. He's 19 now, but I'll double down. He is probably the second best 18 year old that, 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 that I've seen. Um, probably behind um, Ronaldo. I mean, this guy's talent was flipped. Out. Guys, Ronaldo was a crazy prodigy. I mean, ladies, geez. So, yeah, that's the thing man um so yeah that is oh let me just what the heck oh sorry i think the, the display just messed up there so yeah guys that's it for me for the football news this was just a nice little quick thing just to, you know give you a little taster and yeah man guys don't worry the classical preview it's coming up very soon stay true and stay black peace thank you for watching this video Think about pledging and become a Half of Football Hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the Football Hot, for more analysis. Peace.